What is up, everybody? What's going on? What is going on? Glad to see everybody here. Well, not see, but glad that all of you guys are tuning in. Hump day, uh, Wednesday, back again. You know what that means? Goat Milk Diaries. Guys, here, it is our safe man space. <laughs> we get to talk about anything and everything. But today, we got to talk about something that Got me a little, got me a little worked up. Got me a little hot. We got to talk about this before we move on to any subject in the in the whole show. And I'm going to bring on my boy to help me out with this. Um, But damn, guys. When I saw that live video with Ben Walker. Shout out to Ben Walker and the boys out there in his podcast, Spanning the Globe. They'll be on tomorrow. Check them out. Can't miss them. But it was about a situation he had. And it got me thinking, why are we sleeping? Why are we always letting ourselves getting jacked up like this? Left and right. Makers are making their living off our, our hard-earned money, guys. And we're letting them get away with murder pretty much in the hobby. Just doing whatever they want. Still bad-mouthing everything you do. And, and not delivering. Guys... We're in control here. We made a movement here. We can make a movement to have us in control. We need to really stop paying all these makers everything in advance and then get nothing but bullshit promises along the way. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop, guys. Now, speaking of stop, let's bring on the law man here. Mr. Take That Take That Pete Dill himself. My boy. Mr. Easy E, Ethan Thompson, baby. What is good in the hood on this Monday? Brother. Wednesday, actually. My, Wednesday. Wednesday. That's how fucked up. <laughs> that's how, it's, that's it's how fucked up this week has been. Oh, God. How's your Wednesday so far, man? Bro, it was... It was terrible. Work was terrible. I have management that is like... I got anxiety, so like I don't like people fiddling with my shit. Mm. And so I, I when I do I have things in a particular way I like and it's 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 mine here. I, I I'm good. Mm. And I had one manager come up today and was just like fucking with my shit, laughing about it. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? <sighs> what is this like this? This shouldn't be like this. It's like this because this is my work, not your work. Your work's in a computer on uh, in, in there. My work's right here. Go away. Yeah. And he yeah. just fucking fiddled with everything. So I, finally threw it. so I took everything off of the desk and just threw it on the floor. Fuck. I was so fucking pissed. And I get called, of course, you know, I get called the manager, the, the, the manager of all this. And <laughs> what's what's going on, bro? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Why, why the hostility? It's not hostility. It's called anxiety. But you guys don't understand that I keep comprehending. I have certain things I have to do a certain way, and you guys keep fucking with them. Yeah, I, I, was I like, totally if get you, that, man. I was like, but if you want, I can call corporate, and I can explain to them that my management team isn't taking in consideration my mental health on certain things that I have to do, and we can go from there. Mm. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go hold that way. We gotta go hold that around. Just, just, mm. just make sure we're cool. Make sure we're cool. And I'm like, mm. the fuck out of here. And this, this is why, guys. Me. And this is why, guy. Brought to you today by my medicine here. Smokies, we're trying that salty caramel today. Caramel, caramel, I don't know what the hell you guys want to call it. I say caramel. 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 Is it, yeah, is that still, a, like, is I, that still I'm, a thing? I'm drinking, I'm drinking the old Smokies liquid caramel. <laughs> <laughs> so while, well, while you're while you're popping this, you gotta fill me in. I missed the Ben Walker. Obviously, I missed the Ben Walker live. So I'm a little in the dark. Ooh, my, ooh, damn! Give me a second here. Woo, that's good. I gotta do an extra little drizzle on this. What are you, are you mixing it with something? Uh, it's just Coke. Okay. Coca Cola. Coca Cola, guys. Coca Cola. Just clear that shit up. 
<laughs> just because you know you might be having your kids watch the internet it's 2024 we don't know what's going on so guys basically what I was saying is Ben Walker had a little incident he went live on the group great cust- um, on championship belt brothers okay and he he was hot he was hot. I mean, he was lit. He was ready to jump on a plane and go whoop some ass on somebody. Grandpa shaking a stick, just uh, brother. You don't mess with grandpa. You know, people just don't learn. But which brings me back to the whole thing where this all can be avoided. But we really need to stop doing that damn three hundred dollar deposit, five hundred dollar cash shot on these makers. There are some makers, guys. There are some makers that are good. But guys, the ones that I could trust in this whole hobby after like two years of doing what I do and following the hobby, all in this hand, Yep. right here, right here. This is all I can trust. You, and, everything and, and that's else? it. Is, is, is These guys make, they're, they make up names for groups. And and belt companies like on the fly, uh, body slam championship belts, knucklehead championship belts, clothesline championship belts, a dirty mat championship belts. And you have uh, to realize a lot of these guys that do these scamming and shit as far as makers, they just come back as a different name. Exactly, they come back as a different maker. There was a maker, Newman Ali, that maker, had like four same maker, different egos. Yeah, same asshole different name and the thing is like what's really gonna make these guys because okay what's gonna make these guys learn about your word is your bond what's gonna really stick it to them I'm in the United States and I'm held to a certain responsibility certain quality and I make sure I meet that we're not in a perfect world. I can trip, flip, flop, whatever. But it's how you get up and you go back with those people and take care of those people along the way. But these guys just don't care. They don't care why because they're overseas. They know you're not going to take a short drive to their house and put an ass whooping on things. You're not going to show up to their business door and, hey, what happened to that order? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The only way we can control that, and I sure hope that this gets around, it needs to be honestly done, because I've been doing it behind behind doors, you know, telling all these makers. They've been hitting me up all the time, and I go, send me a free belt. Send me a free belt, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I've done my hard work. I've done my research. I've, I'm not going to pat myself on the shoulder or, or pop a collar or nothing like that. But I built a certain reputation. I'm not a greenhorn anymore. Like, if I'm going to push you in any way or recommend you in any way, I'm not going to do out of my money. You're going to benefit. You're going to sell more belts. Yet, I'm sitting here promoting you and not getting paid a damn dime to do it. You know what I mean? But like, what people I'm have putting my reputation along with yours, too. You're doing a reputation and everything, but people people have to. I think people need to understand the the financials behind it though, a little bit. So, and I watch a lot of YouTube, like Pakistan. I'm fascinated with the country. I want to go there. Um, I really want to go. No lie, we talked about this. Yeah, but with with hold on one second, my dog's passing out. Gunner, I shut up. That was me. I thought that. Stop was calling me. him. Gunner, stop. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. No worries. Um, the way the money works is current exchange is one US dollar, one Indian rupee, one Indian rupee is 12 cents. You can go to a street vendor. And watch them order a pizza on in a Pakistani street for one rupee. 
wow. So, so these cheap belts, wow. these cheap belts that you're still paying three hundred dollars for, is a lot of fucking money to them. It's still a lot, it's a lot of currency for them, man. Can you believe that shit? And here's the thing. I don't I don't mind paying once something is done. But the thing is like, okay, I'll place the order. Here's 50 bucks. Here's 50 bucks. Get it started. It's going to take you, you said a month. Okay, hit me back in 2 weeks and show me some improvements. Show me some steps. And in a couple weeks after that, I want to see, hey, okay this. Inspect it one last time. Is the paint right? Is the gold looking okay? Is the strap the way you want it tooled? Is this this way and the other? And if it ain't, and they still can't just get it right, it's worth me saying, you know what? Screw the 50 bucks. Just go on with yourself. I never have to deal with you again. And like Ben said, pay these fuckers to go away and stay away. Because that's where a bad belt experience should begin with. Not a review when you finally not a review when you finally receive the belt at your house and it's total shit the belt the, the leather's crap the snaps are rusted there's tarnish all over the place that's not the time to review it the time to review it is before it even leaves now let, let's get in on some comments guys and give our hellos and see who's who's here on the on the line Vinny, we have Mr. Vinny Carquito. What's up, brother? What up, Big Green? Awesome. I don't guy. even call him Vinny anymore. Awesome, That's just Big Green. God is good, brother. God is good. What's up, Kevin? What up, Kev? Hey, brother. Exactly. We got Scott Arthens here. What's up, brother? What's going on? Good to see you here. And the wonderful Mr. Platinum Swords. Goat milk it, makes all pain go away. It it makes it all go away. Believe me. <laughs> Too much of something, though. Too much of anything is bad for you. Just remember that. You're you responsible. Know, whether it's goat milk's <laughs> making the pain go away, or you use goat milk, you know, greatest of all times. Yeah, exactly. Just, Just saying. Because we change in the podcast. Uh, Game. The community. Called 12 gauge. This around right here. Around this. what's up, Michael? What's going on, brother? Much love to you, brother. We have Drew in the house. What's up, Drew? What's going on, brother? He says good evening, brothers. You know, while you're giving me shout outs, I'll, I'll I'll continue to ramble about these makers. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Morton Able uh, maker, a low end maker. The worst off it's gonna be. You get a guy like Ben Wall. If you notice the market in the market in the ballot hobby, anyways, right now just sucks. It just it it it, it, it just terrible. What's up, Rob? What's going What's on, on brother? brother? Always good to see you here too, man. It had a regular. I believe it had a regular Intercontinental logo plate, but I. That's a good question. That's a good question. The, the paint was missing. I'll shoot you a picture. I'll shoot you a picture of the actual belt. I got a few pictures of it, so you can have them for reference. It didn't say Warrior until he got a winged eagle, the black winged eagle. I believe the black yeah. winged eagle was the first winged eagle that had the. Game played on it. <laughs> I know, Vinny. Oh man, that's that's like the whole in stock. I have ready. I have in stock now. I have nightmares in stock belts. I, I mean, brother, why? Okay, you have it in stock. Show me a video. Show it to me. I'm gonna give you here's a list. A, here's a deposit of fifty dollars. Ship the belt to me, and when I get tracking and I see the belts <laughs> on my way, I'll send you the rest. That's how that should go from now on. Honestly, guys, it's got to be that way. It's got to be that way. For me, my personal list of trusted belt makers is not a long list, so don't 
obviously you have your classic shields. Uh, Nawaz is probably number one in my book due to I'm blocked by classic shields, but uh, <laughs> due to uh, just his communication, we talk. He, he's a great guy, fantastic belts. Uh, Alianus, another fantastic maker that I love seeing him post pictures of him getting CNC machines and just the advancement that he's doing. Um, as much as money as he's making, though, man, Ali, Ali, I've been in your inbox every week, brother. Please listen to me. Change your damn welding system on the back for those bolts. Change it. Your spot bad? welder, your spot welder is Baba Kaka. You don't want that. You see, you don't want that reputation because that's what Mateen went through. Mateen went through that bolt breaking shit for a while. <laughs> I, dude, what's it's up long it's, it's right now and we got BA in the house <laughs> it's long when it's wet Ben my hair is just curly naturally so it just curls up <laughs> but anyway so you got all the honest classic shields and the was um, really really turned on by great custom belts I think he's 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 really on his way I think this year we're gonna have a vote on the show we'll do a vote and we'll see the results uh we definitely have to put one in for best maker of the year most improved maker of the year belt of the year which belt what maker made the best belt that stood out to all of us during the year you know what i mean we definitely need to do that and and see and see what people think but um, for me, nope. Alian Nas took a step down for me. His, his etching, his plating is fine. It's awesome. Um, whoever cuts his plates, because that's something we don't really talk about much. The people who cut the plates. That's a skill. Uh, yeah. And the way they smooth the edges. A lot of makers will just cut plates and all the edges, will, you can see all the saw marks, it's rough. Nobody takes the time to sand and smooth and polish those edges out really nice. You know what I mean? I've seen that even on classic shields plates. So like definitely that's something they need to step up. But the boss will worry me. Yeah, and see the main his main problem with that is he uses a spot welding gun. Okay? Is he using the copper studs, the 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 yeah. M5? Yeah. And the problem see, is that's Classic good if you're going to weld on certain materials. Yeah. It doesn't have the same welding strength on zinc. If the plates were steel, oh man, they would, you could spot weld one and hit that thing with a hammer and it would not come off. But zinc's predominantly softer, so. Softer, so, and the heat when it welds kind of makes it porous. That's why it's better to braze weld. You know what I mean? Kind of like when you yeah. weld a plumbing pipe. That's the best way to do it. There's really no best way to do it, man. I've never honestly had a problem with studs from a maker that sold me a belt for 250, 200 that the studs were welded by hand, raised. But for some reason, Alianas, I've had five, six belts problem back after. I mean, that's that's the and that's good to get out there because it's disappointing, and that's good for people to look out for because the guy does great leather. He does great plates, but it's it's and, and, and you figure those those bolts are what a one cent a one cent expenditure yeah. that you're trying to Jesus. cheap out on that's gonna ruin your reputation. I mean, literally in the United States, it's twenty cents will buy you a box of those studs over there. Best guy in the game right now. Like Who's if your vote? we're talking, I got a gun to your head right now. Bam! For securing the, bolts? No, no, but just best maker right now. Gun, bang! Like Nawaz. Agreed. Nawaz. He's inboxing me. I inboxed him because he posted up a macho IC a little bit ago. I, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm just like, <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? We say that because. Nawaz is someone that 
I've gone to different makers. I like the results. I like the artwork. I like the work. But just when it comes down to the complete fit and finish for a certain amount of money, it's just, I, I rub my face and go, ah, I should have just done the wash. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, that's how it is. The reason why I go to other makers is if a customer has a budget that's a hundred dollars less than a was can't do it i i'm forced to go somewhere else yeah not i'm not scrambling looking around for a guy i have my guys but out of these five people i know one of the guys is not even a belt maker he makes plates for everybody else it's very you common know, that's the thing is a lot of one of master glutter a lot of these low end makers you guys are coming across that are, you know, the 200, 250, 300 all range, they just go to Salcott and go to the markets and buy the plates. Like, you'd be surprised of like how much you can get at that market. Yeah. But with the Waz, I've never, I've gotten a belt where DHL open the box and cut the plastic and put a just a score from one intercontinental plate to the other mm. I, I told him i was like bro i know it's not your fault it's repackaged dhl yeah i'm gonna let you handle it how you want to handle it you just tell me what i need to do we'll get this belt rolling you just send me the plates there we go. And the Waz has done that before with me. He's done that before. I mean, it's really, it. he's busy. He's not that great in communication. But when he gets to you, the problem is going to be solved. He's going to solve exactly. it for you. He's going to solve it for you. And you know what, Rob? Uh, Dream, Dream Championship Belts is a guy that keeps coming up. I've seen it. I... And this is just, I'm not talking bad about the guy or his work, but just, uh, if you're a guy like me that likes to buy belts for, let's say, $550, $600 and up, I'm not really impressed with, with Dream Championship belts. But the main reason for that is because his budget, what he's shooting for, the customers, he's doing fantastic for them. If you buy a belt from him for like 250, you're gonna get a good belt for 250. You're gonna be all right. And I think that's where we need to break down the list of tiers, because yeah, like spanning the globe, they they're unique spirits. Does a lot of belt, does a lot of belts for him. And I I believe he's in that three hundred dollar range. So we need to have the we need to have the group of trusted three hundred dollar makers, trusted next tier of your your higher end SD because Nawaz's SD would be the higher end of a lot of these guys' belts that they could do. Yeah, even even like if you guys, my recommendation if you want to get a nice SD belt go to Leonas. His, his etching is super crisp, super clean. It's just not going to be as deep for his SD belts. But his his HD is phenomenal, man. It's very nice. I want to take the leap to a great custom belts because I talked to him a lot. He's a nice guy. He inboxes me. Real nice guy. I helped him a lot. I turned him on to those 8mm sidebars that he's doing now because I think those kind of sidebars and those little nuances mm -hmm. really change a belt and kind of separate himself from other people. And I want an oversized winged eagle. I want one of them big. I want one of them biggins. Just, just for me. But I think that's where I'll probably go next. Michael says, uh, I've had Nawaz. I've had Nawaz tell me to sell a belt and send him the money and send the belt back to him and pay shipping. I don't know. Like I said, we're not in a perfect world. My situation, his situation is not going to be the same as everybody's. Personally, I've never had a, a problem that I can remember with Nawaz. 
I think the biggest problem I had was I wanted a certain plates. He said they were going to be done in a certain amount of time. When I hit them up a week later, it changed from, let's say, to two months to five months. And I was like, can't do it. You know, I'm pressed for time. Um, but perfection is going to be hard, hard to get. Um, next week, uh, for you guys that are here, just so you know, um, I want to bring on one of the middle guys, one of the middlemen for ORM belts. And <laughs> that's who, who is it? Cause that's going to be fun. I may Vince. be blocked by them. Vince, you know, I don't know if I'm <laughs> blocked by him, but look, I, I don't think you are. Cause I've seen you guys comment on the same groups. You let me digress a little bit with ORM. Me and ORM had a personal spat that turned ugly. I've never once said that ORM makes a bad belt. I've never once said that ORM doesn't have good leather. I despise ORM's customer service. And I despise a few of the people that ORM is in line with. That being said, I uh, his HD work seems to be nice. I have no idea what his wait times are. I have no idea of any of that anymore. So it would be interesting to talk to Vince because in this hobby, we don't do well with taking cr criticism or anything. We just block people, move on. And like, that's just, I, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I'd rather just like, yo, you can, you can hate me, but you don't have to block me. Like, I, are we that, are we that childish? Like, so that will be that's gonna be lovely to see. Well, what Vince, I want to do is because Vince, send me that message. Th there's there's a lot of things like um floating around lately, especially after um Matt debuted his, his winged eagle. I saw no comment. a certain on a certain person's forum that RM is going to have something that's going to put that to shame. How much are extras I, that going to cost us? I, I don't know, but what I did read from the post, it said that it, isn't, it wasn't going to be anywhere near the price. The price tag that um, Classic Shields is charging for that eagle. Um... So this is where I lost friends, and it's sad. Um, making that constructive criticism on that belt from Classic Shields got me blocked from Classic Shields. Got me blocked from some people because I didn't agree with the price for what you got. I didn't agree with the upcharge but then the mocking of ORM, when ORM comes out with the V7 Big Eagle, and we openly would mock, we would openly mock them. But ORM never never came out with the V7 and then charged you two thousand dollars extra. <laughs> Brian, you're a fool, man. <laughs> BA knows he, he knows. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Is like I'm I'm an asshole by nature, and I'm but I'm gonna I'm also fair. I'll never make fun of I'll name I'll never make fun of ORM coming out with a V7 artwork again because he's never charged two grand more. So what I want to bring him on for is because I want to see where are they at now? Where are they at now? What are their processes like? What are their times? What are their more or less prices? Uh, what is their big project? I want to bring them in, talk to them about it. Um, because I'll be honest. I rather steer people in the direction of something equally as good, whether people in this hobby agree or not. People can be equally as good as somebody, but people have favorites. And that's what kind of uh, impairs their judgment, I think. Um, but I'm always open as a leather guy and I'm always looking for plates 
uh, for my customers. I try to hunt for the best thing out there for my customers. Like, honestly, I want to see what it is um, that ORM can offer. Because if I have to go to Classic Shields and charge my customer $1,800 for plates just because they move three tail feathers to the left where they should be versus a small detail that nobody really ever notices and save a thousand bucks, I'm going to save that thousand bucks for my customer. You know what I mean? Uh, Vinny says, I talk to Vincent often. He doesn't have any issues with I, I don't says, genuinely, nice genuinely have any issues with Vince. I, I genuinely don't. Um, but I again, this hobby is weird. This hobby is weird and it's very wolf pack tribal like tribal pack mentality and i'm guilty of it too because you know we're doing those covid eras you know carmine and the bam crew and all this all that shit and uh, again now i look back at it i'm like what the fuck is i thinking like seriously but this is it is what it is here's a good comment by uh michael nelson he says well the person doing the art has some private matters he's dealing with so sometimes so times have been pushed back now i don't know to what who, who or what he's referring to when uh, i say icon. what uh, what i mean Adam is Gibbons. what bells or you know what i mean but here's the thing um if it's a one project i get it now if the art guy is having problems and this goes for any belt maker what does his problems have to do with the current art you're selling now and etching with? That should Agreed. not push any. That should not push any times back. You um, just continue running current artwork. Current artwork, keep it moving, because obviously we've seen stuff from RM before, and Classic Shields, and Alianas, and it's good stuff. It's good. It's good artwork. It's good plating. You know what I mean? Mind you, if the artwork's egregious, and that's one thing. But it, like you said, like you said, if we're talking about some tail feathers being three centimeters left of center, and and a, a, a wing claw having a a millimeter open space, bro, change the record. Yeah. Oh, he's okay. He's referring to the V seven. So if yeah. that's something they're working on, I get that. Totally get that. You're working on the artwork. It, I work on other things get pushed back. Whatever. I understand all that, man. For sure. But continue cranking out the V6. Yeah. Until it's ready. And tell your customer, hey, this is what's going on with the V7. If you want to wait, you can wait. If not, you'll get the V6. Boom. That's it. Problem solved. Here's a here's a good question by a Facebook user. Uh, he said, what's our take on third-party makers versus what shop is putting out? Okay. You Here's can't compare opinion. a shop belt. Here's my opinion, guys. And I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. You cannot go to shop, WWE shop, and you cannot get a WWF product of any kind that includes belts if you are nostalgic for having a winged eagle anything WCW that is like correct art plating size and leather you can't get anything like an intercontinental that you want to get you can't get the big green you cannot get uh a, a nice crumb rind you'll get the shop rind but you're not going to get a crumb rind you're not going to get certain belts from shop and you cannot go to a pakistan maker and get any wwe made title that is made for a certain price and certain quality either hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna kick not kick back but I have been wanting to get with the maker and do my own rendition of a stacked network logo. Because I think it's really close because what's happened is people have shipped them network logos. So they, they have dimensions and they have all this kind of stuff like that. I want it where it's CNC'd, where 
every stone holder CNC'd out. I want it. I want it the whole nine. Um, but as far as WWE belts, you're not going to get a U.S. title any better. You're not going to get no. the world championship any better. None of those belts you're going to get any better. Yeah, if if you're a fan and you're a belt collector and you happen to love the network logo, the world heavyweight title, the U.S. championship, the Intercontinental, you like any of those belts, any of those belts that are new, you're not going to get it made better by anybody overseas. I'd like I've to see a, 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 ta- a stacked tag belt. Because I do like the Spartan helmets. No. Oh, so I'd like to see they, something like done there. They, they can pull that off. I saw yeah. a guy do one. No lie. Very nice. Very clean. I, I, but again, but like you're saying, though, so I was a guy that when I first started this hobby, I had five different colors of the Intercontinental. Four different colors of the Intercontinental. But they were shop belts. But then you go to a maker and you get this version. It looks different. It feels different. It smells different. It tastes Ah, different. different. (laughs) Everything is just... (laughs) No lie. I'm not putting down the shop stuff because shop's doing phenomenal. But shop feels more toyish. Yeah. Than replica ish, yeah, it, it it certainly does, it certainly does, man. And you know what? There's a reason why guys like me, like Ethan, like Vinny, like a lot of these guys here, Michael, all these guys in the comments. There's a reason why we spend a certain amount of money on. And I hate calling them boots. I call them boots just to relate to everybody out there. I call no, I call them replicas at this point. Because and what why why is it fair? Why is it fair to let an American guy secretly make a big eagle, WWF logo big eagle, and they don't call that a move, they call that they call that a replica. It's it's because it's made American, American made. But just because it came from overseas, you're still doing the same process. You're still doing the same thing. It's a replica. Unless it's made by Jamar, Reggie, or or whoever, it's a replica. I got a special comment here by one of my buddies. Juan Covarrubia, saludos, camarada. What's going on, brother? He's got tacos. I've never had a torta. And burritos, bro. They're phenomenal. I've never had a torta. Bro, you you gotta look up on YouTube how they make tortas in, in Mexico City. They take like three avocados and just slice it and put it on one slice of the bread. I'm a super picky though. Hey, Why? one. So check me out, right? Here, here's what I want. I want a carne asada burrito. I don't want none of those burnt little tips that you give away and <laughs> no, I want I want that juicy <laughs> carne asada from the center. I want double meat. I need mm. that queso. I need that cheese. I want that cheese pull. When I when I bite it, I pull. I want that cheese pull. Then I want that Spanish rice that just hits. And then I want to get burnt by that the the, the refried beans that hit your lip. And you're like, ah, fuck. <laughs> just give me that. Just meat, rice, and beans. That's the kind of carnivore I am, dude. That's just too awesome. <laughs> Ain't that the truth though? On a good smack and burrito, you get that kind of, you take that bite. Anybody that isn't from California is hard pressed to understand this and or hasn't lived in California. You buy a burrito in California, right? It comes wrapped in aluminum foil and it just looks like this aluminum foil football. Mm. We're digressing. Sorry. <laughs> but you take this bite, right? And you get this meat splatter juice. Dude. Then you get this cheese pool, right? But then you're like, oh, there's this texture of the rice. But then, mm. then you get this hit. Bam! The beans always hit you last, and you're Dude. just like, oh fuck. Dude, I, I just gotta have my sauce as hot as I can fucking stand it on my food. And I, 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 I will make you disappointed. Be, I will. It's I will gotta make me right now. It's gotta have my nose running, tears coming out of my eyes. 
but everything in the food has to be so good that I don't want to stop eating it. I got to continue torturing myself through it. Here's you know where I mean? I'm going to disappoint you as a Mexican. <laughs> I'm only half Mexican. <laughs> now, you got to preface this. I'm only half Mexican. It's all right, man. So hot and spicy <laughs> pork rinds are spicy to me where I have to eat them with milk. Mm. Oh, tough. Like, Did you do so that my, challenge, though? Did you do that no, challenge? No, that's why I had my wife stand in. Thank God. Damn, I had my beautiful dude. wife stand in for the hot challenge. <laughs> like, here comes the bullets. That, that she said, she was my meat shield with the hot. And, and, and she dude. took it like a champ. She did a fantastic dude. job. Wow. But I just. I hope I you took her out to do. dinner for like a week. Yo, I yo, swear. She gets whatever she wants. She has to say no mind. And and that's my that's my ride or die. So All she's right. good. We got yeah, Michael just here. Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> we got Michael here. He says my current rankings would be classic shields, altar, orim, nawaz, and great custom belts. I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with that order. Nawaz is the, too low. Too yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely low because if you look at the order put, that you're picking, you're going by flip flop altar, flip flop altar, and altar for nawaz. Or, and nawaz. I would flip. I would flip Nawaz and Altar. Yeah, that's where I would go. This is my order. It would be Classic Shields, ORM, Nawaz. Classic Shields, ORM, Nawaz, then Altar Belts, then Great Custom Belts. Yeah. Because the order I, you I, have I, it in now is literally going by price. Classic Shields being the most expensive, Altar Belts thinks he's he thinks he's in the game of the price range. He quotes people. He's not. Um, RM is definitely flipped out around because I think there's nobody closer to Classic Shields than RM, in my opinion. Um, Nawaz, fabulous place, but the leather, even his upgraded leather. Ah. It's been two years since I started doing leather. I would have thought by the time I got here, Nawaz would have his game set. But he still has to work on his leather. Whew, time to wash that whiskey down with some beer. Newcastle, guys. Sorry, I was trying to trying to get us an extra extra viewer. Hold on one second. Mm. So guys, that's how I would put. Out of those, I have to go Classic Shields, ORM, Nawaz, Altar, then Great Custom Belts. Yeah, we did have to get boots because they weren't making what we wanted in shop. But I, even though I feel that even though if they would have had the WWF on the winged eagle on the IC title and all that, they still don't get it right. I hate knowing that whenever I've taken any shot plates off of a strap, all I see is a, a void, a dip, a dome, you know what I mean? Hollowness behind the plates. I can't stand that. And whenever I have a set of plates from, from overseas, Believe it or not, that's the closest you're going to get to Reggie. Because it's act, whether it's poor material, zinc, or whatever they use, it's still a metal plate. They still acid etched it. They're still doing things by hand, brother. It's the closest hey. you're going to get. It's the, They're trying to follow the process. Some do it excellently. Some do it very poorly. But you're still getting a belt in the same fashion that traditionally how they were made here in the United States. You know what I mean? Now, this is going to sound really bad. And this is off topic. Are we being... What are we being broadcasted on YouTube? YouTube. We are broadcasted on my channel. On my personal channel. We're being broadcasted on the uh, Nerdcast. The Nerdcast channel. And then we're also being broadcasted over our Facebook group which is the Goat Society. So tell a friend, guys. Let them know. 
And Vinny agrees. He says, yes, toyish. Some look toyish. They do. The art looks very cartoonish. And we've said this even about other, other belts that makers have done, like some of the art. Yeah, I mean, I call them replicas. They're replicas. They're replicating the process of the actual belts. So that's why I call them replicas. They're not boots to me. See, you can get you can get so caught up in all the fucking hoopla. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Platinum. You're you're fucking welcome. Mike, when a, when a fat man <laughs> hey, when a fat man describes a burrito, dude, it's a thing of fucking beauty. All right, it it, it is, man. No lie. But uh, we got Facebook user says so. If y'all are making belts for folks, what playmakers are you sourcing currently? By the way, Mendoza, your leather is fuego. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, like I said, I have maybe five makers that I go to. Out of those five makers, I very rarely go to Nawaz only because budget is a thing for people. Okay. Um, usually around tax time, that's when people go all out. And I can get them a lot of good stuff for good prices. Um, hey, put them to the DB Tito's comment. Hey, this is my boy, bro. This is my brother from another DB mother. Tito's, what's up, brother? What's this, going this on? This is my dude, Dave, <laughs> Dave Brown. You know, we this guy we've had plenty of adventures on. I'm telling you right now, we've had plenty of adventures on. Just want to give a shout out to the homie. Shout out, brother. What's going on? Good to have you on, man. Well, we got that. We got that. We got that honey proof going. <laughs> so back to this question. Uh, here we go. As far as makers go, rarely Nawaz, but I go to Nawaz when I know that a customer needs to be 100% satisfied and if they're a picky bastard. Honestly. And that, his times aren't bad, though. His times his aren't times, bad. No. Lots of times, I'll go to message him and say, hey, what do you got available in hand? And when he says he has something in hand, most of the time, he's got it in hand. He'll send me pictures of all of it. Um... Another maker that I'm starting to deal with is uh, the maker from Great Custom Belts. He's doing very good. Orosha Belts, very good. I, I showed you the crumb you run. Can't, you can't say Orosha Belts without saying shout out Gary Sutton. Sorry. Yeah, shout out to Gary. Hey, Gary's boy, Gary, Gary's man. I found Gary Sutton's doppelganger. Really? If you, if you go on YouTube, <laughs> go on YouTube right now, I swear to God. This isn't racist, so don't get mad. <laughs> Go on YouTube right now and type in Coleon Noir. What? <laughs> Coleon no. Noir. I found the lawyer doppelganger of uh, Gary Sutton. No, I'm not. Holy I'm gonna pull crap. this picture right now because wow. you're gonna fucking. And uh, Vinny asks. What's your opinion on a Russia plate chrome ring compared to the a shooting a uh, shooting plate, brother? I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. It's better at this point. It's probably the best chrome ring that's come across my hands, and I've had. Hold on. Shop. Oh damn, dude! <laughs> Is that not the doppelganger? The gun doppelganger. <laughs> Of fucking Gary Sutton. <laughs> somebody, somebody tell Gary his daddy got around. Because look, his he's daddy got to get around. <laughs> Guys, uh, Erosha for me. Now I haven't had a classic Shields Crumb Rind in my hands yet. I've seen the budget Crumb Rind. For the money, how can you waste your money on a budget crumb rind? I'm, I'm going to take my man Kevin Davenport's word for it. He had the classic Shields crumb rind, and he has a C4 now. Mm -hmm. And he says there's just no comparison. There's no just, comparison. Just... That C4 is the be-all, end-all of crumb rinds. It is. Um, but let me tell you, that crumb rind Vinny has, um, that Orosho made one, is hands down the best crumb rind I've had come through here. Period. The the size, the fit, the curvature, the rope border. Because uh, a lot of these guys weld that rope border 
and they get the face is fine but then the sides all the welding is all sloppy and you know what i mean the, his rope border is clean clean and Orosha always seems to do the right thing with the hardware like how many makers out there send you a belt but they're not gold plating the snap sets he's gold plating the snap sets and even the screws on the back are gold plated so you even want to have them exposed they look really hold nice. on hold on hold no on hold on, hold on hold on we're 51 minutes into this motherfucker uh mendoza already Holy i crap. haven't seen you drink i need i i need you to catch up motherfucker I, I literally, i'm already a hundred proof glass in bro jesus christ look at you you're like three sips in you're like my wife because uh, mm. i'm gonna flip i'm gonna i'm gonna flip this shit 180 off this fucking hobby we talk Ooh. about this hobby enough we gonna change we gonna change we gonna change it <laughs> fuck it we're, we're gonna, gonna change, change the podcast community we're gonna click, take click. it by <laughs> <laughs> That's what we doing, guys. <laughs> oh, Yo, hey, hey, like I said, we we fuck around to fuck around, and that's what we do. You know, we appreciate the followers, we appreciate the viewers, we appreciate you guys tuning in every motherfucking Wednesday. Thank you. Show guys. your boy some love. Our I got my boy over here now watching and shit. I feel good, <laughs> so I'm good. Plus, our wives won't listen to us, so we need somebody. This is therapy. We need somebody to talk to, guys. You no, know, my wife listens to me, but it's more like, hey, babe, what's going on? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And then she'll remember that she's not listening and click her headphone. And then be like, oh, oh well, what were you saying? <laughs> you know, my boy's in Texas, and that's, that's ultimately Yo, where I'm trying to be. I, I'm know. so jealous of anybody that grew up in Texas and had some of that steak, had that the good cooking, that cue out there oh no so no he's california born and bred but what? then 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 relocated in texas like a wise man oh he's still he's still you know me and my wife were talking about that the other night relocating to texas that that's the ultimate place we're gonna we we're gonna end up so it's in the cards man oh look at ben walker <laughs> look at ben walker up from his nap Hey, you know what? I'm going to do Ben like he did me the other night. You late. You no, are no, late. Look at, his, look at him saying barbecue, bro. This but motherfucker I, but right I here. You, but this I see motherfucker what you're right doing. here. DB, DB Tito's. Bro, best steak you'll ever have. This motherfucker can get down on the grill. No kidding. Like no other. We gotta have him for a cookout. We gotta pull up. Right. We gotta play a little get together here, man. But anyway, sure. so I wanna I wanna flip this. I wanna flip this topic. We we're talking about this earlier. Grandpa is in the house. I'm Grandpa struggling to is find in the house. I'm struggling to find good TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, Ben wasn't playing around this week. I'm telling you, I saw his live, he was lit. I'm gonna watch it with he dinner. Oh, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it because I was watching it. I was like, I'm glad I'm a leather guy and I'm not a maker of any kind. Holy shit. It's going down, you guys. But but to flip but to flip this, I'm struggling to watch TV because you know what? All this shit that's on TV right now is the exact same. I grew up in a time of much like you guys, a living color fucking just just some unique shows we had movies like tropic thunder where you know robert downey jr was doing blackface and oh, in living bro. color where the waynes were playing handyman and falling out a fucking window and you look at all this shit that's on tv now is like nobody's afraid to press the fucking button anymore on and push the limit nobody's pushing the limits I want I want that shit to be funny where I have to look around before I laugh to laugh because whether it's whether it's a black joke or whatever the joke is I want to have to look first and laugh I want those buttons to be pushed yo Damn. you sound like my dog bro bro little man I showed I showed little man it's only the day I picked him up I had to pick him up like this 
because I hadn't put him on the show. I, he was this little the last time we saw him. Now I got to pick him up like this. Big boy now. He's growing. My boy, my boy, my boy lost his growth spurt. See, that's the thing with oh. Chappelle. Chappelle is that dude that I just love so much because he will go after anybody and everybody. But in 2024, we couldn't have a Tropic Thunder where somebody was doing blackface. We can't even have a White Little Mermaid. Like, it's fucking wild. I'll tell you what. Things have changed because people have raised these damn kids soft. They want everybody to respect and read their minds. We're supposed to know what the hell you think you know you are. We're supposed to like the fact that you like wearing a damn dress or a wig or that you're walking around with your wiener hanging out, but you're all of a sudden a female. And and all this and all this crazy shit in the world today. You know what I mean? But then meanwhile, meanwhile, we, we can't. We can't have some raunchy jokes on TV, but then you got, you say you got you got Nickelodeon dude doing that shit behind the scenes. You got P Diddy P Diddy diddling everybody, like mm. man, kills me. Yeah, you did, Ben, brother I Ben. Think a black, I don't think a black man in twenty twenty four is allowed to say going off the rails. That's, I, I think that's, there's something. There's, there's got to be Careful. some kind of rule now, and it probably started yesterday, but for sure, see, that's why you're sick. The, you know, this is one thing people don't understand. Whenever you get mad and you vent and you frustrate, that wears you down, man. Those stress levels wears you down and makes your body weak, makes you vulnerable, makes you sick, catch a cold quicker and everything, make you catch a case and get a number on a group. Hey, that's true too. You know what's I'm nice though, to... and I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't heard nothing lately. Not that I'm about, anyways, unless I'm blocked. But no next about it. It's been nice and nice and quiet. About who? Um, what's that? I'm uh, drunk, so you gotta spill it. You gotta you gotta spell it out for me with the color crown. I can't even. Oh, Bell's most wanted. Oh, Guido. Hi, Guido. Guido. What's going on, bro? You know, so I, it's been quiet. I let him be like, I understand the, the plight behind what he's trying to do. <laughs> the execution's not what I would do. So I'm just like, all right, it's just not for me. So I'm just going to let him be him. Bro, did you catch that earthquake in Japan? Um, again, 7.2, brother. 7.2? Damn. That fucking wild, dude. And my niece is going to Japan. I just found out. My niece is going to Japan on the 7th. She had to get her international driver's license because she's doing the Mario Kart fucking race around the city. I heard about that. I heard That's about that. Dope. That's just pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Have you seen Iron Claw yet, Mendoza? Yeah, man. Oh, and I, 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 I watched that when I want to cry. When I want to cry in the dark corner by myself. Now. Dude, speaking of crying, bro. Am I the... As I get older, am I the only one that is the biggest bitch in the world that cries more now <laughs> than ever before? Like, I fucking I, I hate can... it in, in, in a sense, but I love it too. I don't know. It's weird. You know when they used to say have a good cry every now and then? Yeah. You know what it is? And I, and I think I can explain it. We're getting to a part in our life where we're finally understanding when our elders, when we were younger, used to say, when you get older, you're going to miss this. You don't understand this now, but you're going to miss this. Bro, we're at that stage in our lives where we remember all that and we go, damn, damn. 
Dude, my wife for like 10 years would just be like, why don't you just go to the bathroom and uh, take a shower and cry it out? I'm like, you're done. <laughs> and now, now I'm in the shower. I'm like, <laughs> you were right. I, but uh, anyways, we're talking about Iron Claw. So you gotta make Claw, sure it's a hot shower or a cold shower to keep the <laughs> swelling down. <laughs> I've watched that movie a bunch of times already. I don't understand the meaning of the coin when he's on the boat after he kills himself. And he has the coin. And he puts the coin down on the seat next to him in the boat. Is there some kind of meaning that I'm missing? Well, you know how mythically they always say that you have to pay the ferry? I, I did not know that. Yeah. You have to pay the ferry to get across. If you, it's kind of a thing. And correct me, anybody, if I'm wrong on this. But supposedly, if you ain't got the coin to cross that ferry, it's because you got to go to the other way. You staying. You know what I mean? And well, all Bro, I'm guys, gonna die, and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why bums are always like, got me change. <laughs> <That's> what, <laughs> those guys, I don't want to be rude about it. <laughs> so, so plan, I'm plan, I think I'm they I never know when they're gonna go. <laughs> so they're like, spray change. <laughs> I haven't ugly cried yet, but oh god, I'm just I'm just getting this crying thing is a new thing. So like I'm just like fucking allergies. <laughs> Vinny, I know, and and you know what, um, I and I get that, and it's good for us. It keeps us humble, keeps us closer to, to, to keep being human and when I say human is because a lot of us no, can do no, things no, no, in no, life no. I'm going <laughs> to take back on you Mendoza how old is your oldest daughter she's 22 now okay so you, you've gone through the boyfriend thing oh yeah yeah. so uh, I'm just going through it now my mm -hmm. oldest daughter's 19 she's got her first like official boyfriend Hmm. And he's a nice kid. He's 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 a dorky white kid. Um, but my thing is right now is like where it, it, the, the 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 tears come in is I'm the dad that's no longer needed anymore, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, always on ready to ship. So I'm the dad that's like, my wife's like a little more like, I don't want to say lackadaisical, but she's a little more like, not, I don't want to say not caring, she cares. So I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say is, but I'm the emotional one of, and that's my baby. And, and now she's gone. She works and in college and, and hey. I'm just like. Daughters, daughters hit differently for dads. They hit differently. And because we protect them all the time. And our our boys, I have four boys and two girls. I got nothing. Two girls. And here's the thing. With our boys, it's more like, hey, did you get that girl? Did you ask her for a date? Did you, did you get, you, all right, all right. Your boy falls and says, mate. Stop your fucking crying. Get up. Come on, man. Hurry up. Get up. Get on. Don't cry. Nothing happened. Shake it off. And with our girls, it's differently. So it hits us differently, man. It, but psychologically, it's so fucking weird. Because like, even like, even I'm, like in my dreams, right? My dreams went from like, I would have like these crazy ass dreams where like, I was in the center of a mass shooting and I had to smoke like two people to fucking get out of there, right? You now, like, I get home from work and my kid's crying on the couch and my wife's sitting there and, like, they're trying to figure out a way to tell me she's pregnant. <laughs> then, 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 those are my nightmares now. Oh, Vinny, we know what game you're playing, brother. <laughs> right? <laughs> what was that movie where the guy would hang a tear in his eye and turn around and I said, 
said he would get the girl in the bed. Oh, God, I forgot what movie that is, but he had, like, a fake stick on tear. Oh, that's, that's hilarious, man. Vinny, come on. You're, that's, you're working your angle. Yeah, we do know. We, we do know the laws. We, we do know. And when we see our girl going out with Homeboy, we already know. We got to give him what? that look. And, but that's what I explained to him. I'm like, I explained to him, I'm like, look, I don't in my mind think you at all can protect my daughter the way I'm going to protect her. But here's what I ask. If there's a situation where you can't, I'm the first motherfucker you call. Exactly. You call me like instantly. Yeah. And I'll Do respect you for that. See, I've been do I've been working both ends here. This I've been drinking beer, drinking my drink. Mm. It, it's a trip, man. Guys, we're at the hour and six. Just want to stop real quick and say thanks for Thank sticking you. with us. Like, share, subscribe, recommend us to a friend. Share us, guys. It doesn't cost anything. Put a like on that. Biatch. We're here for you guys, man. Yeah, you know, generally. Generally, there's a third party, but you know he was a little too good tonight. So uh, there's a what? We'll, a third party. Third party. A uh, third person. He kinda was forgot that he was kind of forgot that even happened here anymore. He was he was living his, his he's more of a fill in because he's scared of he's scared of the hobby getting changed by this new podcast. So I think he's he's trying his his best mm. to recruit himself to another podcast. Sad. All I know, all I know is I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with my boy. I'm glad to be here with all of you guys to share what we got to share, man. WrestleMania. Ooh. WrestleMania. Guys, I need good I I need a guy I I need good ideas. How do I call off for two days of work? Saturday COVID. and Sundays. COVID. COVID. Really? These days. I hate to say it like this, but in this day and age, COVID, is that even a thing anymore? You can be off for a few days and Well the the new thing out is influenza A. Oh. My sister had it, put her in the hospital. So I'm afraid. Of, I'll tell you this. This is the thing with me. I'm afraid of karma, big time. Like I can lie. Like I could have been at work yesterday lying about my butthole hurts because I got like uh, hemorrhoids flaring up, and then wake up today with a big ass hemorrhoid on my. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared of that. So I, I try not to mess with it as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm. <laughs> but no, I'm super excited for WrestleMania this week. This weekend, oh, it, good. I think it's gonna have a lot Jason of Jason Cortez. Turns. What's up, brother? Good to have you on here. Stomach virus. That's not a bad one. See what's good about that one is not a lot of people use it. People are always saying, "Oh, I had a fever." Or I was even thinking of saying I threw my back out. Are you too uh, much of a powerful man to shit yourself? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> it's, Bro. It's, it's, it depends on your level of commitment. That's all it does. <laughs> yeah, I work Saturday and Sunday. I work Saturday and Sunday. Damn it. Platinum says, tell them you or your girl got extra freaky. <laughs> and the nipple clamps turned out. <laughs> oh, God. You guys. <laughs> Diarrhea. I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of like goes along the lines of what Ethan just said that. How's my pride? How, you know what I mean? What's my level? You know what I mean? 
You are Mexican. You could say you never knew your dad and he just surfaced and you're going to spend the weekend with your dad. Oh, and I've got that down. Believe me, I got that down. I've got the whole back thing going. I'll walk in there spending like fresh Bengay right before I walk <laughs> in to put some matches. <laughs> the thing is, it's hard for them to buy it because I'm off on Mondays. So they're going to be like, this is took... He took Saturday, Sunday, and she Monday up, off. Two days, two days are more believable than if you're like if you're just going doing Sunday. <laughs> it will look less believable, but if you did it Saturday and Sunday, it makes it more believable. Mm. Man, <laughs> you know what, guys? I, what do you guys think about that whole damn thing? Is he going to finish his story? I say no. I think somehow Damien Priest ruins it. I think... I think Damien Priest is going to cash in. He's either going to cash in on the U.S. title because... Very interesting. Logan Paul. Randy Orton. And who else is in that? Hold on, hold on. Jason's on to something. More importantly, what time do you work Saturday? Uh, I go in at 5. So you show up about 4.30 and you show up sickly. You're trying to put your best foot forward. You may miss a half hour of mania, but then that sets you up for Sunday because then they can vouch that you were sick on Saturday and that rolls you into Sunday because you tried to be a team player. Do you know what? You might be right. Because either way, nobody wants to watch anything but like the main matches last what? Do, let's be honest. When it comes to Mania, what are the real matches we care about? Because the rest of the matches, we're getting up to go get food, getting our drinks, taking a piss. Um, on the phone with other people on Facebook to see what they're doing until those last two main matches hit then we don't want to be bothered yep so yeah maybe I want to maybe I want to show up and go home sick or maybe better maybe I have a slip and fall out ooh It's look being sick, faking sick is a hell of a talent in its own when it comes to work. I've seen some of the best they've got me. I've seen my buddy used to rub the shit out of his eyes so they got super red and keep telling them that he had to go home and it worked, man. I've seen some stuff. I've seen some stuff. No, no way. You know, but maybe, maybe, maybe if he does get sick, you know, we go a little live on a Saturday night after Mania and kind of hash this out. But I, I, I don't want to run into Span of the Globe time. Oh, yeah. Those guys are hardcore. Yeah. The, what I think about Mania is with Cody, I think that. It goes to, it's going to go one or the other way. Night one, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins win night one. They go, Cody goes on to WrestleMania, loses to Roman Reigns. Um, Roman Reigns get in, gets into it with The Rock. Because they lose to Seth and Cody because of The Rock's fault. So that starts a new rivalry rivalry for SummerSlam or next WrestleMania for Roman to get into it with Rock, possibly. What 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 if he spin that a little bit and so the Rock and Roman get into it? Rock gives Roman the old fucking rock bottom. Damien Priest comes out and cashes in. 
Ooh, ooh. Roman like loses the title. I, like I just want that. Roman to lose the title. That's my only goal. Or it could go this way. Night one. Cody and Seth lose miserably to The Rock. And, and uh, Roman Reigns. Which brings in the, the rules of the bloodline for night two. And against impossible odds of all kinds of people interfering. Cody gets it. Cody gets it, right? It could go either way in that way. Does it did... count for Cody completing his story if he beats Rock or Roman? Wins the title and then loses it five minutes later? Like Yokozuna did in WrestleMania 9 to Hulk Hogan? See, the thing is this. Cody doesn't want the World Heavyweight Championship. He wants the title that ties in the lineage all the way back to the Winged Eagle. That's why he wants the network logo. Hmm. No, he. I know he's not going to lose. And that's because he's not going to lose until he surpasses a certain amount of days as champion. Once that happens, then they're going to drop it. They're going to drop it. But they want to cement. What I think is that with these generations, these new generations, before there wasn't a person who didn't know who Hulk Hogan was. Now it's about 50%, I think. Uh, Nobody remembers who Dusty Rhodes was. Nobody remembers who... Nobody knows who... um, Morocco was nobody you know nobody knows who uh what's this guy's name Panetta was there's a lot of these names that nobody knows these days and when I say nobody I mean newcomers they don't know who they are so they have to bring all that record holder stuff current they have to bring it make it current now to keep it going for the future so yeah, Roman's gonna win. He's definitely not gonna lose the title. I just want to see how they're gonna disappoint all the fans. That's all. I just want to see in what way they're gonna disappoint everybody. They're gonna give a lot of people heartbreak. Mama Rose gonna get that belt. You know, but is that the cliffhanger we leave it off on? There's always SummerSlam. SummerSlam is the second biggest event of the year. But I think they're trying to set it up this year for WrestleMania so that SummerSlam is just as big. You know what I mean? No, I I don't know because they're still on strike, right? That's why he's uh, right now at WWE because they're yeah, all the writers guild is they're all on strike, man. And that and that right there, brother, you hit it on the nail. It's entertainment. It, it's like watching a, a, a good soap opera. You know what I mean? And if we learn anything from soap operas, the villains are always ahead forever, forever, forever. Until the very end, everybody gets their happy story. But at the same time, WWE has to see who's got the following, who has the natural ability to carry the company on. Because as much as we hate Roman Reigns, we love to hate him so much that we have to tune in all the time to see when he's going to lose this thing. That's just the reality. And I, I, uh, I think that's where we end it until we find out. Come Saturday, Sunday night. Saturday, Sunday night. If I'm, if I'm too sick from work, we'll definitely do a uh, live reaction video live. On I, this. I, I think that, yeah, I think that's a must if you're definitely too sick to go to work. 
No. Definitely not going back to the bloodline. If anything, honestly, I think Jimmy will come out of the bloodline after those two guys have their match. They might reunite again as a, the most dominant tag team and go after the titles now. We could see a big story change between them from now to SummerSlam, for sure. Um, I don't know. Dirty Dom, as much as we hate him, as much as he's a weak link like we think, he has got a lot of heat on him. I think he's in he, a good place. He, he, he's, he, man... People love to get loud. As soon as he grabs a mic, people, that's another guy that people are learning to, to love to hate. You know what I mean? And it's only going to get worse because uh, if if I'm not wrong, I think, is Mysterio going to fight him again? That's That was, that was the rumor. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. I think it's going to be a tag team thing. I'm not sure, but maybe it, maybe it is. Um, so yeah, maybe. Who knows? No, 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 no. And, and you know what? I don't know who he's who who's who is Gunther fighting for the title? Was it Ali Knight? No way. Not Ali really Knight. Uh, I think LA Knight is fighting AJ Styles, which is that's kind of like a hot dog break match you know what i mean get up and go to the store and go get yourself some dip and chips and come back home type of match sammy zane sammy zane oh no 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 sammy zane can't carry that title he's he's just a jackass character for me he can't do it gunther retains on that one Kev, what's up, brother? What's up? We what got up, Kevin Davenport on here, man. What's up, brother? No, come on, Rob. Sami Zayn. Even his music, his entrance music is whack for me. I can't. Ah, Mike, you too. I hope that ring general slaps the beard off his ass. I chops the beard right off his ass. Can't do it. Okay. So it is a tag match. It is going to be a tag match. Okay. Yeah. Eh. The other guy's not important. But see how you can remember Dom's name, but you can't remember the other guy's name? He's relevant. He's he's up there. But I think, uh, I mean... It's going to be good, and I think this mania is going to be... Probably one of the best manias we've had in a while. So, I'm, I'm stoked to look forward to it, and like I said, hopefully, hopefully you're sick enough to go live. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, Mike says, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going for Sammy... Was just asking that who's Gunther is wrestling. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know how Spanning the Globe goes two plus hours. Ring, the the ring general, the ring general has set the bar. He really has. He is a he's a tough ass. I've seen the welts he leaves on these guys. He puts a ass whooping. I mean, I don't know how it goes down, but he must be like right before the match. Listen, listen. I don't know how you wrestle with these other fools, but me and you're going to do some, you're going to do some damage. You're going to open up your chest. You're going to take some damage and I'm going to take some damage, but we're going to sell the shit out of this because that's how I would be. There's no way I could be in pro wrestling like that or entertainment. I mean, I remember back in the days when I was in high school and guys used to be like, I want that. Let's go behind. Let's go behind the bathrooms right now, and we go out there and wow, 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 duke it out for fun. 
it can't be any any harder than that for wrestling. I mean, the backflips onto the ring has got to be a bigger toll on your body. But to take some more realistic hits to the face, chops, and all that, I'm down for that. I am. Kevin says, uh, Sammy looks like the guy taking tickets. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Kevin. I couldn't agree more, dude. I can't agree more. He's a bit moody at the door, right? If you don't have exact change. <laughs> Dude, that's that's right on the money. That's right on the money. Oh man, brother, I couldn't do five hours. But sometimes when it comes just naturally, I'm I'm good with it. I can do it. He does have that feel, man. It is very punishing, and he has a method to his madness. If you notice, his his matches are paced. He, he brings down the pace to his pace, where he is putting a beat down, rolling him. It's not a rush through the match, you know what I mean? Makes it makes a good match. He does, brother. He really does. Guys, we're at 1 hour 26 minutes, well beyond our nap times. Ain't that for sure. <laughs> Leave Sammy alone. <laughs> I, I I don't know if that's part of his religion, dude. But the beard has to go. It does have to go. He needs. I think he needs a image upgrade. A few changes here and there to make him look just a little more badass. But I still look at him and see the guy that did his gimmick on a wheelchair with his little army hat. I really do, man. I mean, come on, jeez, what are you gonna do? Guys, thanks for accompanying us. We're going on an hour 30. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for your input today. Thank you for joining us, having a few laughs today with us. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Share us in your groups on uh, Facebook, on YouTube. Recommend us to a friend, just not your kids. Guys, we will see you on the next one. On my behalf, I'm going to say Maybe God we'll bless everybody. Take care. I appreciate every one of you guys, okay? Because Sammy does look like he needs them coins to get across that river when he gets there. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Guys, for my team member, I'm going to say we are out. See you on the next one, Ethan. My Peace. boy is out. <laughs> my boy is out. I'm out of here, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Okay? God bless everybody out there. Be at peace. Live in peace. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Uh, if God willing. Uh, and again, guys, quick recap. Please. Pick your makers right. No more full money up front. Have a good cry in a hot shower. Be creative. Be sick. Call out at work. Everybody deserves a good, unbothered, unmolested two nights of WrestleMania. We got to pitch in together and get some change to get Sammy a new look. Okay? And hopefully, maybe, we get to see Cody finish his story. Because we got to satisfy all the Cody crybabies. So, guys, I'm out of here. Have a good night. We are gone. We're gone. I wish I had one of those good neighbor songs to sing out like Mr. Rogers. But I don't. So, guys, the best I can do for you is God bless and good night. Out of here.